Well, surprise, surprise. Here I am again, still broken. Um, going to the warehouse for one reason only, and that's to upload a daily video so I don't break my streak as a daily vlogger. About to go over some train tracks here. There we go. So my back's still out. All right, so I think a lot of you guys are curious, like what am I doing to fix my back or how does this work? First of all, let's start with, um, fine, I'll get Starlink. I, I like that I don't have Wi-Fi here. I, I, it keeps me from like working too much at the house, but um, maybe I should just get it, right? I, I kind of liked that I was out here in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing I could do. But let's start talking about um, my back <clears throat> and what I do to fix it. Um, first, we're gonna watch a little video here. We're gonna watch a little video. Um, I decided to take before and afters this morning. So this is my before. Um, I'm gonna show you guys sort of a little bit of everything. So this is me before. As you can see, I'm pretty crooked. What happens is <clears throat> um, my spine's a little fucked up, right? So to protect it, when my spine feels like it's in danger, everything shifts and all the muscles seize. Um, one of the things that seizes are my glutes. So my glutes pull me forward. I can't keep my core tight, so I just feel like a fat, sloppy idiot. Um, I can't bend over. I'm just not able to, I mean, you're, you're watching me bend over right now. Um, and then <clears throat> Thomas does a very specific thing, right? The cool thing about him is he's a chiropractor. Thomas is everything. So Thomas is a chiropractor, he's a physical therapist, he's certified in these needles, um, he does everything. I've tried everything. And <clears throat> what he essentially does, I'm gonna show you here a video here in a second, is he lays me down and he puts needles in me. Um, and those needles essentially turn my muscles back on and he puts them in a very specific way so they sort of make my muscles relax and then they indicate how to work together again. Then I'll get some massage, then I'll get some heat, um, and then he'll do some joint adjustments. So normally what happens when the back goes out, I do this twice. So I'm about to play the clip of me uh, afterwards. So this is me afterwards. I'm a little bit better, a little bit better, not too much, um, but here in a second, you're gonna see me be able to actually move. So I feel a lot better. Do I look a lot better? No, okay, I'm still crooked. I still can't keep my core, but my glutes are starting to relax and I, I have movement. You're seeing me like bend down, I'm hurt here, but me putting on a t-shirt um, is a pretty big deal. Uh, for these two days or three days while I'm down, normally Dana has to put my shoes on, she has to put my pants on, um, she has to dry me off after I get out of the shower. So, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna see a little clip of, uh, of Thomas and he is going to be doing dry needling. So I have a, um, a video on this, it's sort of far back, it's called like how to fix chronic back pain and it's sort of like my whole story um, of what's going on with my back and you know all the nonsense. And this is a really exciting little process that I'm gonna have him explain because he's smarter than me. So I had to do two on this side. 
and that's when we hit him with uh, electrical stimulation. And the electrical stimulation is an important part of the treatment because what we do know is if I can stimulate the spine at these certain levels, we can get an increase in what's called the axoplasmic flow into the nerves. And so what, that's, what that means is our body gets all kinds of circulation through our muscles, but our nervous system is extremely needy when it comes to blood flow. So this is like calling AAA and getting some jumper cables on the way. We are kind of tapping into the sensory experience in his brain. So we know that in an area where we've had pain for a long time, the sensory input or the brain map, the, the part of our brain that, that has information regarding all of our different muscles and, and joints and stuff like that, gets a little bit fudged up or smudged up. So if I'm doing this, his body understands like, hey, look, I've got muscles there. So bringing information to his spinal cord and his brain that allows that motor output of all the other muscles in the body to coordinate to to create the best, most efficient movement we want possible. So, <laughs> and then the other thing that helps is laying down, because if I sit too long and I edit, I get all fucked up. But I have an exciting thing to show you guys. As soon as I do a little breath work action and uh, some hip mobility, and then I'm going to show you guys something really fun. So the bag release is very soon, very, very soon. Within the next two weeks, I'll have a date for you guys exactly. In designing this bag, I'm a huge fan of clean bags, right? So I tried to add as many pockets on this as possible. Now, one of the things that people love right now that I'm not quite in love with is patches, right? People love patches. I wanted to make this bag as clean as possible and still give people the opportunity to customize it. So. One of the really cool things that I got today right before I left was our patches. I'm telling you guys, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest fan of patches, right? I, I'm not the biggest fan. So I designed some patches that I actually liked, right? And we have a variety of them. One of them that we started with because we made this whole big section was we just made a big fly and fail logo, which completely, completely, completely changes the look of the bag. I'm still keeping it clean. Uh, I think we're gonna try to do this black on black. Really excited about it. Ooh, geez, Louise. Um, another one that I made that I really, really like is this one. So I'm gonna, no one's coming to save you. Now, what I really like about this is, um, because, you know, I can make whatever I want, um, we're making these really like long patches, right? So they can fill up this whole space. So this is, I believe this is two inches by 12 inches or something like that. We have a couple long ones. I didn't bring them all home with me. We have the, the rocker, Flagner Fail. We've got a couple traditional small ones for people that might want like a small patch. So we have the Work Hustle Kill. We have the Hustle Harder design. We have the No Handout designs. Um, and I think that like, I don't hate that. I kept them all black and white. I kept them very graphic. I kept them very graphic and I just did designs that we really like from Flagner Fail. But um, how I'll probably be carrying the bag is something like that. Just a really nice, clean, no one's coming to save you. Um, I'm also doing no one's coming with the monogram and a couple different versions of this, but I think that, let me, let's get some focus on that, right? But I think that comes out like, it keeps it keeps the integrity of the bag um, really, really well. And it, you can like, you'll be able to stack these. I haven't really seen this done on the market. I'm pretty proud of it. Once again, if you wanna like really go full maniac, um, we are gonna make some of these big patches. So, as you can see, just really, really big patches. I like it a lot. And then we have these little rubber patches are still on the site, but I like that a lot. I think that's like really cool, really clean. It adds some diversity to the bag. Um, it can add your stylization. Obviously you can buy patches from anywhere, but I'm really, really happy with this. This is exactly what I intended with this bag. Um, this is still the sample bag, so a bunch of these things that you see. Uh, this is the one that I'm just still testing. I'm beating the shit out of this bag, you know, when I fly to Denver and back. Really, really excited to release this. Very, very excited to release this. Needless to say, I'm so behind on work because I've been laying on the fucking floor in my house and I can't really arc my head up to work on my laptop, so it's just been texting and I'm really behind on design work. Tomorrow I'm headed in nice and early and it is time to fucking rip. I have so much to do. So tomorrow's gonna be a little more exciting. I'll be on the move. It normally takes me three days to be active 
after my back. So that's my update. <laughs> that's my daily vlogger update. Uh, I hope you guys got some some information about the back, right? I I I, I I've done everything to figure it out. Um, I've done inversion tables. I've done heat. I've, I've done everything, man. And this is what I found really, really works. Uh, for my problems specifically, I know that we all have different problems. It's getting dark. I'm going to sleep.